Do you have loads of products to upload on your online store? Wish there was a simpler way to upload all these products at one go? Problem solved. We have a bulk upload option to save you from the pain of uploading one product at a time. So here's how it goes. To begin, when you are on your add new product page, navigate to the bulk upload tab. On the page, select the kind of products you'd like to upload and download the Excel sheet. For uploading products with no options, select simple product option. If you'd like to upload products with options or to upload products with options and SEO tags, select the relevant options. Now, let's consider each product case individually. If you're uploading products with no sub options, then at a first glance, this is how the downloaded Excel sheet looks like. All the fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory fields. Please do not leave them blank. When you download the sheet, it is pre-filled with some dummy data. Let's delete the dummy data and start filling your product information from scratch. Enter the name of the product and the category of your product. An important rule to keep in mind here. If you have already created categories on your store, put in the exact category name letter by letter. A difference of even one character would create a new category. Also, if you fill in a category that you have not already created on your store, it will automatically create a new category in the bulk upload. Next, enter the product subcategory. The same rule that I previously mentioned for categories applies to your subcategories as well. If you have alternate sorting enabled on your store, enter here the third attribute value to sort your products by. If you assign your own product IDs to your product, enter it here or leave it blank. So far so good. On to product images now. Drawing your attention to another important point here. Please do not insert the product images in the sheet. What you need to do is Enter the exact file name of the product image along with the file extension. Usually, by default, file extensions are hidden in Windows. To see your file name with extensions, go to View Options and select the View tab and uncheck the Hide extensions for known file types. You should be able to see your file name with extensions now. Now, all you have to do is copy the exact file name with the extension and paste it inside the Excel sheet. Similarly, to upload more images of the same product, copy paste the respective image file name. Enter your product description in the About the Product column. Please do not format the product description here, hoping it will reflect on your store. If you wish to format your product description, use HTML to do so, like this. Relevant tags and keywords for the product can be entered here. Use a comma to separate different keywords. Enter the price of the product, a discounted price if you're having a sale. Number of items in stock. You can leave this field blank if the quantity is unlimited for the product. Shipping charges. You can leave the field blank if you wish to offer free shipping. Else, enter your shipping charges here. It's been fairly smooth so far, isn't it? Next, if you wish to apply weight-based shipping charges on your store, you will need to enter the weight of your product in kgs here. To inform your customers about the respective sizes of your product, you can enter the file name of your size chart image here. But what do you do if you have products with options? Even that is fairly simple. But you will need to keep a few things in mind. Let's start with the easier one. Products with just one option, like a t-shirt available in both red and blue colors. All your initial fields like product name, category, subcategory, up to relevant tags will be entered the same way. When you reach the options values column, enter the options like this, separated by a semicolon. For price, you will have to enter the corresponding price for each option. 
if you are selling the red size at 450 and the blue one at 500 then you need to enter it like so and if you are going to sell both at the same price you will still need to enter 450 twice similarly for the discounted price even if the discounted price is the same for both colors enter it twice you may or may not have the same quantity for both colors. Enter respective number of pieces available for each color. Moving on to the more complex product with two options, like the red t-shirt in two sizes and the blue t-shirt in three sizes. Like we did previously, all fields up till relevant tags, including the weight of the product and size chart, will be entered the same way. In the options value column, enter the product variations like this. Say the red t-shirt is available in both L and XL and the blue t-shirt is available in M, S and XS. Enter the respective price for each product variation or if the price is the same for all, enter the same price four times. Similarly, for discounted price. The same applies for quantity in stock. A couple of things to keep in mind when you set about filling the sheet. 1. Please do not use any formulas in the sheet say, to calculate the discount price etc. Enter all values as text and by yourself. Secondly, please do not delete any columns from the table. If that particular field is not applicable to your product, for example, you are not uploading more than one product image, leave it blank, but do not delete the column. And when you share your product images with us, send across images of only those products you are uploading in your sheet. And remember to keep the size of each product image under 2 MB. Now, Let's have a look for if you would also like to enter relevant search engine optimization tags for your product. We have handed over complete SEO control for all your product pages. Like we did previously, all fields up till size chart will be entered the same way. The title tag describes your product in search engine results and appears as a clickable headline. Limit the number of characters in the description to just 69 characters. Anything beyond that will automatically get truncated. The meta description is a mini ad of your product in search engine results. It gives the visitor a description of what product he will find on your store. Search engines only index 156 characters for meta descriptions and hence keep it short. Add the alternate text for product images. This is needed in case a product image is not visible to the customer. Then, this text will be shown instead. Similarly, you can enter the alt text for all product images. Optimize your product pages further by adding a custom URL for each product page. In order to do so in the bulk upload sheet, just enter the text part of your custom URL in the column here. Like for example, red brown neck t-shirt and that's about it you are equipped with all the information to start filling the bulk upload excel sheet all the very best